Hey, terima kasih kerana bersama kami dan saya pasti bahawa kita semua di sini for one reason and one reason only sekarang ini kerana kita menyaksikan akan menyaksikan dan sedang menantikan the premiere of the music video buat Adakah kau mendengar? Ya, yeah. dan soalan saya buat anda Adakah kau dah mendengar? <laughs> Kerana lagunya telah pun dikeluarkan on all streaming platforms pada jam 12.30 malam tadi. Kalau belum dengar tu, tunggu apa lagi. Tapi, dalam masa sebentar saja nanti, kurang setengah jam, we're going to watch buat pertama kalinya music video Adakah Kau Mendengar. Dan ya, yeah, sambil kita menantikan, don't go anywhere kerana kita akan singkap perjalanan Alif. Kenal lagu-lagu beliau Tapi mungkin ada yang keliru eh sebelum ni uh, Ejaan Alif tu Kadang-kadang kita lihat A-L-Y-P-H Kadang-kadang kita lihat A-L-I-F Ada yang salah eja hmm. Double F <laughs> yeah. Tapi ya yeah, um, Sekarang ni kita tahu bahawa Alif is going back to his moniker A-L-Y-P-H Alif That's right Ya yeah. Dan kita tahu juga bahawa Kadang-kadang pemuzik Ataupun penulis lagu um, mereka menggunakan nama sepe, sebagai definasi diri mereka sendiri. Um, sometimes it reflects them. Jadi kadang-kadang mereka lagu ni gunakan mereka lain. Um, lagu tu gunakan mereka yang lain juga. Tapi this time it's clear. Dah tak ada, ke, 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 dah tak ada kekeliruan. Yeah. It's A-L-I-P-H Alif. Yeah. Yeah. Dan untuk lagu Adakah Kau Mendengar, pastinya kita tahu bahawa you know, before this, walaupun kita sering mendengar nama Alif, um, Beliau banyak sangat membuat kolaborasi bersama dengan artis-artis lain You've hmm. been making songs for other people um, Dan yeah. saya percaya bahawa you're not called a hit maker for nothing Ya? Yeah? No Ya, yeah, tapi it's been a while no, in, no. Um, Dah beberapa lama sebelum um, kita mendengar lagu that it's all just Alif That um, beliau tulis sendiri, hasilkan sendiri um, Dan saya percaya bahawa ini uh, merupakan lagu pertama beliau keluarkan pada tahun 2020 So I'm so excited, saya ada banyak sangat soalan untuk beliau uh, Saya juga dengar bahawa lagu ni beliau telah pun you know, um, Make it very personal Tetapi saya tahu bahawa dalam lagu-lagu Alif Walaupun anda um, mendapatkan inspirasi daripada mungkin pengalaman anda sendiri hmm. uh, From your own experiences Tapi it's not a one man's perspective Kerana yes. saya bahawa dalam sebuah lagu tu um, Mereka yang mendengar, they can't relate to just one person Yes Yeah. Jadi I have so many questions for you Baik kita akan mulakan dengan uh, soalan pertama Alif hari ini. Soalan pertama. Tong, tong, tong. Yes, yeah. uh, dalam lagu, adakah kau mendengar? Ya. Yeah. First, before kita even talk about the song, mm. talk me through even before you wrote the song. Jadi anda, saya dengar daripada anda sendiri, uh, we know some people, mereka masuk studio dalam satu hari, um, they habis. Yeah. That's it. Um, ada juga, di antara anda songwriters dan sebagainya mm. you keep songs lagu tu dah dibuat mungkin 2 3 4 tahun ada mm. yang 7 8 tahun eh yeah ada but it never sees the light of day yeah buat lagu adakah kau mendengar sendiri mm. when did this begin um, saya ada buat dia structure pada hujung tahun 2019 mm. tahun lepas lah mm. um, saya dah ada structure dia um, saya ada record demo sikit tapi macam just blabbers and scats um, Belum ada lyrics yang betul-betul sesuai um, It was just music mostly sebenarnya um, Sebab punca dia adalah saya rindu um, Like producing for myself Because I haven't done that for very long So I haven't given myself much attention So um, masa waktu saya tengah buat um, lagu ni Uh, bila saya buat structure dia, sebenarnya saya sibuk dengan projek-projek lain juga Like I was doing many other things um, But this, when I made the music, it really felt like an escape Rasa macam um, If 
it felt like I wasn't joking like like benda ni it's true to who I am you know at that point of time hati anda? yeah so dia sejujur-jujurnya um, so that was where it came from I think you know tu, tu punca dia hujung tahun 2019 tahun right. lepas dan apabila anda mulakan proses lagu ni so you yeah. said that um, anda mula dengan melody dahulu yeah. with the beats yeah. dan selepas itu uh, apabila anda mula sebuah lagu proses sebuah lagu dengan you know the melody the beats dahulu um, bagaimana anda tahu the right words that belongs there wow mm benda tu bergantung pada emosi i think um, sebab saya sebagai like penggemar muzik saya suka muzik yang um, yang kita akan cari uh, bila kita rasa sesuatu macam you know I mean? like rainy day or like a, or like a hot day or night time ke pagi-pagi ke you wanna know this song yang eh i feel like listening to this song i put it on so pada saya music tu bukan sebuah benda yang technical sangat. It's very emotional, it's very um, benda tu tak boleh di you cannot gauge what music is really. Um, so when it comes to lyrics, sama juga macam itu sebab um, I can admit my, my language is not the best out there. You know? I'm not I'm not I'm not like a dictionary. Tapi um, saya harap bila saya pilih perkataan untuk masukkan dalam lyrics tu the betul-betul is like how i really feel like the song should feel like right. you know so macam movie lah ada dia punya synopsis ada dia punya plot climax and all that so sama juga so saya pilih uh, perkataan-perkataan yang sesuai buat um, lagu dia mengikut jalan cerita hmm. and um, yeah it's it's really not rocket science the way i do it it's very dia macam when when some, when a baby is born and that baby grows up and is able to sing you know ada orang dia belajar macam ni nak menyanyi ada orang dia dah memang tuan dah beri ah benda tu you know so um, i keep it very sacred very private and i make sure yang i will never have a formula to it right. every time i feel like oh mungkin i can do this first and then that first and then that first um, i throw it all away and I just go back to when I was 15, 16, how I used to make music, everything based on instinct, emosi and feeling what's right and I just do it. So. Okay, interesting. Yeah. Dan mungkin itulah, you know, um, itu sebab mungkin anda bertahan sampai sekarang ni, itu sebab mungkin uh, setiap kali kita mendengar lagu anda, uh, sometimes we know it's yours, sometimes <laughs> we have to Don't. wait we hear Malik Potion. Oh right, the tag. And then we know that's yours. Yeah. <laughs> But saya rasa itulah, you bring a freshness to the table every single time. Thank And you. And dalam, adakah kamu mendengar, uh, kerana anda telah pun mengatakan bahawa it's very personal, mm. um, uh, would you say that ini lagu di mana anda paling jujur? Um, saya rasa benda tu, um, is saya mengikut perasaan, saya mengikut emosi, saya mengikut feel. Mm. It's not it's not really technical for me sebab so, like I'm not the I'm not a dictionary like I don't have all the best words and all that tapi just like conversations bila kita borak um, usually kalau kita sedih ataupun happy ataupun kita somehow rather you find the words to say when we're chilling or just kicking it um, so that same principle is the same bila saya buat lagu um, I can't really tell you exactly how it is because it's been the same since I was when I first started doing this like 15, 16 it was never a formula jadi I make it a point to still not have a formula sebab sometimes of course you get um, you get stuck and then you macam nak kena cari jalan keluar kan so okay kita be a little bit more organized now. let's think about how to write it but once that happens usually I just quickly throw it out the window and kalau it doesn't feel right means maybe it's not right for now okay. maybe I don't feel like it sekarang so I won't push it hmm. so that's how it is it's really no A, B and C yeah. yeah yeah dan saya rasa 
kerana anda make it a point you know, not have a process to always feel yeah. uh, so that's why lagu anda memang you know bertahan sampai sekarang ni oh uh, i see appreciate that we still go back to Do them they? yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> thank you dan saya ingin tahu daripada anda because um, apabila anda membuat sebuah lagu sometimes it takes masa satu hari dua hari mm. kadang-kadang dia berbulan kadang-kadang dia bertahun mm. but dalam proses berbulan dan bertahun tu perasaan anda akan berbeza yes you will go through phases yeah um, but if you wanted to emote a certain thing in that song yeah tapi pada masa tu anda dah tak rasakan yeah then how do you go around that that's why my songs are not entirely personal right. the, my songs are not just my stories to share sebab um, There's a reason why kita will confide in somebody is because mm. and we know who to confide in. It's because we know that we cannot tell it to everybody sebab semua orang tak akan faham situasi kita. Yeah. Um, with that being said, um, that also doesn't mean that everybody has not gone through the same thing. You know, it's probably in a different way. Yeah. So how I write songs is um, like I will feel a certain way and then I will add things, mm. change things to make it not generic tapi understandable yeah understandable you know like even if somebody has not gone through it it's easy to digest oh. macam oh okay i i feel it i understand it mm, and that's basically how i do it yeah yeah no no <laughs> yeah so. okay and kalau kita melihat pada ada kakak mendengar which is why we're here today yeah um Talk us through, beritahu kami mungkin um, apa isi hati anda yang telah pun anda curahkan dalam lagu ini. What were the thoughts behind the lyrics of the right. song? Um, saya sebenarnya, kalau saya dengar muzik yang baru, yeah. um, I don't like to know this. Saya ingin tahu selepas saya mendengar. Selepas, oh right. Saya belum dengar, tapi tak apa. Itu Sorry. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. No. Yeah. Um, so, um, adakah kau mendengar specifically for the song? Yeah. Mm, yeah, so like I said tadi, macam like I I will have an idea, I will feel a certain way, and then because I change it a little bit, I add more things to it. Mm-hmm. That's why if, macam misal kata like contoh, saya tak lihat habiskan masa tu juga. Mm-hmm. So when I come back to it like a month later, I'll still be able to somehow channel in. But it's not already very personal. Right. So I would have not been angry already. Yeah. But when I visit it again and I see the song and I'm like. It reminds me of benda yang telah terjadi mm. tapi not exactly so I can still imagine it. Right. I like to be like a storyteller, you know. Mm. So cerita-cerita ni semua cerita dongeng like it's fiction, you know, but it's still a true story. Yeah. You, know, you have based on a true story and you have inspired yeah. from true events, yeah. kan? So um, this is my take on it and uh, for adakah kau mendengar I was actually feeling that way sebab so, um I was feeling how the the I was like how I was feeling was exactly how I played the music. Mm. So it start so it starts off with pianos and just um gloomy macam seorang and all that. Okay. But I was really feeling like that. I, I really felt macam seorang mm. and just like I'm not happy. You know, so I don't know why. Right. It's weird because Like I'm very like bersyukur with everything I have, you know, and there's nothing to be sad about. But somehow, rather, maybe it was raining hari itu. Okay. Something about. And I was alone in the hotel, but um, but I actually felt that way, and I wanted to translate it into music. Mm-hmm. So that's why I started doing it. Um, but for the longest time, selepas saya dah buat the pin structure, mm-hmm. for the longest time, I didn't know how to progress. Because the song was done, I had like change and everything, uh, but I didn't know what story I wanted to tell. All I know is that I was, I was lonely in the beginning. Okay. So from there, then I created a story. Right, so you created a narrative, a picture in your head. Yes, I see. I mean, like if you want to talk about like my previous single, which was Buat Selamanya. Mm. Similarly, um, I want like like this. There's this thing whereby orang macam kita sebenarnya ada banyak topik orang buat lagu ni. You know, yeah. Yeah, sebab so, like kita ada lah. Okay, kita bawa bahasa, kita bawa bahasa kesusahan hidup, mm. kita bawa bahasa cinta. Like these are the basic yeah. tiers, kan? 
Tapi dalam soalan cinta tu, dia sebenarnya so generic, yeah. so broad. You can talk about so many things kan. Tapi people will just talk about heartbreak, yeah. finding your first love, mm. you know, or just heartbreak. Yeah. And, and finding your first love kan. So, um, and yeah, and a few other topics kan. Yeah. So, um, I, so, for example, for Buat Selamia, I wanted to dia saya say, eh tak ada orang buat apa like domestic violence tak ada orang buat apa yeah. like arguments in a relationship and that stuff happens like every single day yeah. that shit is not fake yeah. so um, that was why I wrote that story so but it, it's not necessarily I had a fight with my loved one but um, we have yeah. fought before you know but I added things to it to make it a narrative to make it as fiction lah you know but still true because I have people coming up to tell me like like that song strikes a nerve if you know me and my girlfriend or you know listening to it or me or if a girl says like she and her boyfriend you know mm. so for adika kau mendengar similarly that's how I wanted to build a story out from a real space to um, something not imaginary but pretty realistic And it's a journey. It's it's a it's it's a story. It's a it's a story of. Should I talk about the story? You can. Yeah. Is it yeah, still is it still in line dengan your question? My question. Um. Yeah, we're just branching it out because because. Because I forgot what it was. Jika anda mungkin, you know, if you talk about the themes behind the song, I think right now many of us are curious as well oh. as to what actually jalan cerita tu. Oh, dalam okay. lagu Adakah Kamu Dengar Because sekarang, in a position where saya belum dengar lagu ni yeah. I feel like there's a lot of longing There's a lot of yeah. emptiness maybe Yes Yeah. yeah. Um, so it's just a story about this person yang Obviously yang rasa dia he's a, she, Or he or she is alone um, So dia nak mencari jalan keluar okay. Dia nak minta pertolongan Sekali pertolongan tu dah sampai sebab dia dah desperate. Dia hmm. macam pertolongan apa-apalah. Yeah. Apa-apa yang first saya ambil, saya capai. So, tapi yang first datang tu, unfortunately, is drugs. It's drugs, it's alcohol, it's um, tak tidur. It's just all the, all the, all vices, and, yeah. you know, which happens, kan? Um, so, the song takes on a journey on that. So, dia dah dapat pertolongan tu, dia macam, ah, yes, terima kasih, right? Thank you, boom. Terus, bila dia dah dapat pertolongan tu, dia berubah. Dia, dia jadi confident mm. Dia jadi um, You know Quite You know Like straightforward And honest And brave mm. You know So that goes on Tapi kat Ujung lagu tu Kita Kita patah balik Ada elements yang Buat kita patah balik Kepada yang mula-mulanya yeah. So that is realizing That when the high goes down right. And then the person is like Oh shit. You're ben- empty. Yeah, benda tu it, it, that wasn't a solution, that was an escape. A distraction. A distraction. And you're back right where you started. So um when as soon as he realize or he or she the person realizes benda tu, lagu tu habis. Okay. So lagu ni tak ada message sebenarnya. Dia I'm I'm not out there to advise people like you know kalau sedih Jangan macam ini, cuba macam ini. Kalau happy, cuba macam ini. You know, sebab like it's music, it's not classroom. You know, I I want I want to listen to somebody who knows how I feel. Yeah. Not somebody to who tells me what to do. Yeah. You know, so. Hard to feel. Yeah, um, it's music, kan? Yeah. Um, so how I design the song is in a way is like macam a therapy session. Bila kita masuk and kita duduk satu bulan. And, Support group, lah. Support group. Okay. and then kita hello, my name is Alif, hello, my name is Azura, and, and, and we are Drugs Anonymous, kan? <laughs> um, so, bayangkan lagu ni is like kisah seorang yang duduk dalam therapy group tu, dia ceritakan apa yang dia melalui. Yeah. That's basically it, that's the song. Okay. Um, tapi, like, this is me telling you exactly what the song is about, tapi the way I designed the song, I didn't want it to be deep. Because, as, especially for me, I, the last thing I want to listen to is a deep song. Yeah. Because when I listen to it, I don't want to think. You know, I, I want to feel, I want to like, you know, yes. So, 
the way I design the song is specifically to be s- simple, like senang nak digest, mm. senang nak macam oh okay kita pergi sini, oh kita pergi sana, oh lyrics kita punya, you know. Okay. Tapi sebenarnya lah kalau nak tahu mm. jalan cerita dia actually dia macam ni, you know. So yeah, mm. that's my tummy. I'm hungry. <laughs> And apabila kita dengar lagunya nanti, maybe that's what you know kita akan figure out um, jalan ceritanya. How saya percaya bahawa each person who listens to a song, um, I think you relate to it in a different way. Yeah. yeah. And um, ramai mungkin penggubah lagu ataupun uh, penerbit lagu, um, they use different techniques mm-hmm. untuk um, memberikan ruang buat para pendengar make their own assumptions. Yes. Some of them leave pockets of room. Yeah. Some of them overload with like instruments and yeah. tracks yeah. um, what was the direction untuk ada kakak mendengar? It's just, just translating emotion right so if you're talking about um, lonely how do I feel lonely? oh pianos okay um, apakah uh, perasaan desperation hmm. um, mungkin saya tambah strings right. sebab dia akan rasa lagi intense right. you know um, apakah perasaan bila kita dah Telan, biji Ataupun togok yeah. Arak kan? yeah. So and then that's how That's how I choose my instruments That's how I put I it in. I'm not a I, I'm I try to be very simple mm. sebenarnya I try to be as simple as I can Sebab my thought process is so wild yeah. You know I think a lot I think so much mm. um, At the very same time I want people to know how I'm thinking right. But at the very same time I know yang they cannot process everything that is going on in my head so how is the simplest way yang saya boleh uh, hidangkan lagu ni <laughs> you know yeah. macam nasi lemak ah it's like it's like if, yeah like if if macam member ni dia suka nasi lemak ah nasi lemak dia makan okay. sat, semua hidup dia makan nasi lemak tapi saya nak kasih dia try Salmon steak right. Kalau saya bagi salmon steak je dia Saya cakap makan. try Benda ni sedap Kat Amerika <laughs> Mana-mana orang semua memang layan benda ni Best gila Dia mesti macam Okay lah, try kan Tapi kalau saya letak salmon steak tu Dengan nasi lemak mm-hmm. Saya cakap try Ada kemungkinan lagi besar lah Yang dia yeah. akan cuba benda tu So that's what I try to do When I make music Any forms of music you know? Dan um, kita tahu juga bahawa the music video that's dropping um, esok pada jam 9 malam yeah. uh, Tell us a little bit about that Adakah apa yang kita akan saksikan dalam the music video uh, Selari sama dengan you know um, the lyrics in the song yeah. Are there hidden messages in the visuals yeah. that kita akan dapat lihat? Well, um, I, I would suggest say this uh, The visuals, music video dia adalah adapta- adaptasi eh Maybe that's the wrong way. Uh, it's like the best representation mm. of the music. Sebab bila saya bagi um, director, saya cakap, and dia lagu ni bila saya buat, saya tak ada reference. Okay. So bila you buat storyboard ni, mm. kalau boleh jangan ada reference. So dengan tu dia, um, kita buat jalan cerita dia and everything, mm. shot it. So I think that it is the best way that the music is represented. Um, nothing to... Fancy, but mm. there is a there is a, this thing whereby there is a creature in the music oh. video yang binatang yeah <laughs> dia cakap makhluk ah okay uh, tapi makhluk tu bukan hantu apa you know it's not a horror music video or anything yeah. like that it's not a ghost story it's a makhluk tu is a representation of drugs and right. alcohol mm. and all the bad, all, all, all these things yeah. that make you yeah, kan? yeah, yang buat kita hayal yeah. yang buat hayal so makhluk tu is that's the representation so right. bila makhluk tu ada dia jadi wild lah mm. and then bila dia sedih and realise yang oh man kau tipu aku siapa makhluk mm. you know and then makhluk tu macam ha 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 you know like <laughs> one more time no <laughs> <laughs> okay, we'll look forward to the music video. Of course, Thank you. Kita akan saksikan and we'll make our own interpretation. Tapi apa yang ingin saya tanyakan kepada anda sekarang ini adalah, you know, we've seen a lot of these symbols mm. 
dalam video anda, yeah. dalam um, post anda di Instagram dan sebagainya. Yes. Um, kadang di satu saja. Satu. Kadang di tiga. Tiga. <laughs> yeah. So saya tahu bahawa this is three of three. Three of three. What is three yeah. of three? Well, three of three is the Um, okay, kalau kita nampak one of three hmm. tu adalah lagu tu adalah lagu kita sekarang ni. Adakah kau mendengar? Okay. So maksudnya lagu tu adalah lagu pertama. Okay. Ya. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So kalau this one of three hmm. satu tu maksudnya adakah kau mendengar okay. lagu? Ini. So with that being said, that's the first out of Three songs. So kita bukan dapat satu, tapi kita akan dapat tiga. Saya dah siapkan tiga lagu lengkap. So ini adalah lagu yang pertama. Sekarang um, saya um, nak mula buat benda ni lah. Saya nak mula buat uh, benda ni yang saya akan panggil three packs. Okay. So it's not an album, it's not an EP ke apa, but it's just three songs of of like a um, concept. Right. Yeah. So. Ada kau kau mendengar one out of three, yeah. one of three is the first story out of three. Three. So dia akan cerita dia akan sambung sampai lagu yang ketiga. Right. Akan bersambung. So ketiga tiga buah lagu ni, it's a continuation. Continuation of everything that I explain is a continuation. Tapi kalau don tak tahu cerita ni, yeah. it's just a sonic adventure. It's just right. a, it's just um, three songs that are. That feel like they fit together, yeah. and just enjoy the three songs. You know, there's huh? nothing deep to it. Tapi kalau nak tahu betul betul dia it's connected in a way. Huh? Right. Yeah. Nah, tapi I have to explain. You know, I have to explain how it's connected. Kalau tak, it's just gonna be like three songs that belong together. I see. So two, three. Bila keluar baru kita boleh simbang cerita lagi lah. Yeah. <laughs> tapi yeah. okay. So two, three and three, three. Um, mereka akan dikeluarkan sebagai singles. Seperti yang ini ataupun dia just gonna drop three of three. Um, buat sekarang ni semua lagu dah siap lah, dah master, dah siap. Um, macam mana saya nak keluarkan? Saya masih tengah fikirkan benda tu. Okay. Saya akan pilih jalan yang terbaik lah untuk release. Tapi saya pun tak nak tunggu lama sangat. Yeah. Um, once lagu ni dah keluar, insyaallah, you know, dalam saya tak boleh cakap si jangka masa juga lah, sebab yeah. you know, I don't wanna give you false. Um, Info, or you know, um, but I am working uh, on like visuals and mm. how I want to drop it. Tapi my dream mm. is to drop the two together. Okay. So immediately, kau semua boleh dengar tiga tiga yeah. sekaligus. So lagu ni and then terus. Three. Yeah. That's exciting. Excited, excited yeah. Um, buat masa ni kita akan enjoy ada uh, dengar one three iaitu ada kau kau mendengar dahulu. And then, following which, kita nantikan 2-3 and 3-3 yang uh, semua ketiga lagu ni, they make up um, what you want to call a three pack. A three pack, yeah. Yeah? yeah. Then, 3-3 or 3 of 3 yeah. is going to be the title of this three pack. Yes. I Banyak three. Banyak three. <laughs> is three your favorite number? <laughs> No. <laughs> sekali lagi terima kasih kerana bersama kami pada hari ini pada malam ini it's a very important night uh, terutama sekali buat Alif thank you so much kerana kamu pun memberikan saya peluang untuk mengenali anda dengan lebih dekat uh, mengenali lagu ini dengan yes. lebih dekat lagi yeah. right now kita akan saksikan the music video premiere of adakah kau mendengar jika anda dah bersedia all you have to do is click the link down in the description box dan anda akan dapat menyaksikan music video adakah kau mendengar terima kasih sekali lagi Peace and love.